Hello again. Welcome back to the wonderful unboxing video series. Today we have box number five. We have briar horned cows and calves. The cows are horned. And hopefully that's what we find in here because I'm more familiar with the regular run horned cows. But let's find out, shall we? Let me see what we have. I would like, I'm going to start with this set. This is the Briar Holstein cow. The cow mold was introduced 1972-ish, and the Briar Holstein cow in this color was made for the longest period of time, 72 to about 89, 90. And she has her calf with her. So this is a cow-calf set. They're both in beautiful condition. Just a few rubs here and there, but the classic Holstein black and white cow, very popular, very pretty, very nice set. Just made for a long period of time, but still pretty popular. So a good start to the box. Let me see who, I think I'm gonna do this one next. This is the Briar Ayrshire cow. She is in a red and white pinto pattern and she was made, the, the variation between her and the previous cow, her horns are put straight upright instead of the Holstein that are kind of parallel to the ground. So the horns are actually molded separately from the cow and applied later and on the Holstein they put them forward and on the Ayrshire they put them straight up and down. This is one of the most popular of the colors that the briar cows and calves came in. And it looks like she has a calf as well. Her calf isn't in near as good a shape as she is. She's beautiful. She just has a few little rubs. She has a little bit of poor masking along the edge between the color and the white. The calf, however, has lots of rubs. He's quite rubbed up along the side, up and over, along the ears. Still in very pretty good condition, but for a collector, this wouldn't be near as desirable as the more attractive, less rubs coloring. So this is the Ayrshire cow and calf set. The Ayrshire cow and calf set was only made for one year about, 1972, 73, so much shorter period of time. Very, very popular and definitely a very nice set. So let's see what's next. Um, I am going to pick, let's pick her. This is the Guernsey, the Briar Guernsey. She has horns that are kind of at a 45 degree angle as opposed to the previous two gals. She is in a kind of a pale orangey pinto color and has very similar markings to the other two, but a little different. Her spots are a little smaller. And she probably has a calf in here that matches her, which she does. And the calf is, again, not in quite as good a shape, but still pretty nice. She has a few little black marks and a few little rubs, but still in overall good condition. Nice matching set, very popular. The cow calf sets were all very popular, and again, the Guernsey, like the Ayrshire, was only made for about one year, 1972-1973-ish. Next, let's do, let's do this one. This is the Brown Swiss, I believe. She's kind of a chocolatey coffee color. She is definitely not in near as good a condition as her sisters. She has quite big rubs along her hips and belly on both sides. For us, for a serious collector, this would be considered fair condition at best. She has no breaks. She is still completely intact, but we definitely want very minimal condition issues, and she's a little, little questionable there. And she has a matching calf who is in what I would consider not so good condition. Quite a few rubs. However, like I said, these sets were only made for one or two years, 1972, 73, 
And to find them in any color is very rare. They're very popular. So even in this condition, collectors would still want this, particularly because it's the cow and calf set. A lot of times they got broke up over the years. So this is still a very popular set, very lovely color. Just probably if I bought them, I would probably have a little bit of restoration work to, done to them or waited to upgrade to a nicer condition set. And our last cow for this box is the Jersey. I have to keep my cow breeds straight. She is, as you can see, a much oranger brown than the brown Swiss. The brown Swiss kind of a very brown coffee color. She's kind of an orangey brown. And, um, she got a little mold flaw boo-boo. These are made of injection plastic, so they have little tiny beads of plastic that are shot into a mold at high heat. And then when they come out, they're very hot. She got a little boo-boo when she was coming out and going onto her cooling board. And so it's a mold flaw as opposed to something that happened afterwards but still something that a collector would definitely notice. She is, however, in beautiful condition. I don't see hardly any rubs on her, just a few little black marks. And I'm gonna assume she has, a, she has two calves in here. Let's see. These are indeed both her calves. These are both Jersey calves. They are this one's a little darker, the one on the right. The ones on the left is a little lighter. And, ooh, this guy definitely has a much darker face than this one. The darker one does have, again, a, quite a few condition issues. He's got some rubs on his hips and his shoulders, muzzle. Overall, decent condition, but definitely something I would notice. And the lighter guy is in better condition, but he's got a little nose rub, he's got a little hip rub. These are all things that happened to these models over the years because they were produced originally as toys. They were purchased and they weren't considered collectible. So they were just treated as something fun to play with. And so they do end up with quite a few condition issues. I'm not sure what we could have left, but let's find out. I don't know what this guy's going to be. He is a calf, and this looks original finish to me. Um, a Briar collector would know the difference. Once you hold him up close, you can pretty much tell the difference between a custom and an original finish. He looks original finish. The bottom of his hooves are very indicative of a factory finish. I, however, don't know what he is, but I can find out because like all collectors, we have reference books and um, cow calf will be in the back. Let's find out what we have here. This is the, oh, nice, a 1974 Bentley Sales Special Run Black Angus Calf, only 150 made. Definitely a very small run, and from back then there won't be a lot of these in collections because a lot of them went out to people who owned live cows and raised these. So this is definitely a very collectible model, and he's in beautiful condition, not a lot of condition issues at all. Like I said, he looks original finished to me, so this is a very nice end to a very nice box. And that was quite exciting, and I made it through with only having to look one up. So that was pretty cool. We'll see what happens next week. Thank you so much.